Hello, hello, hello. Oh my goodness, it is really turning into autumn here today. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the weather. <laughs> we're, to do it. we're here to talk about how, um, how it can seem like we need to feel a certain way to get things done. And I guess they will touch on procrastination while we're at it. But let me tell you a little bit about how I used to relate to this. So I used to think there was a thing called motivation. And I realise you're probably sitting there thinking, but there is, <laughs> there is a thing called motivation and, and I have to feel it in order to get things done. And my, my journey with that involved all sorts of morning rituals and um, affirmations and tools and techniques and all sorts of things just to try and get myself into a certain feeling state before I would start doing particular tasks particularly if there were tasks that um yeah that, that i didn't really want to do or were p probably a lot to do with tasks where i was going to put myself out there a little bit more um share stuff that i really believed in and um in that way sort of uh yeah connect with people speak my truth speak authentic authentically and if you're um, getting a sense that you're not speaking authentically, you probably can relate to this a little bit. So yeah, I did all the morning rituals and morning routines from meditation to affirmations to staring longingly at my vision board in the hope that that would make me feel like doing the things that I thought were going to create the things on the vision board, of course. Um, and I think I thought that if I got all this stuff right, that this thing called motivation would be like a beam of light that would come down from heaven, strike me on the top of the head, and then I would just be able to do things. And uh, th that'd be amazing, you know? And who doesn't want that? <laughs> that? That's what we're sold, aren't we? We're sold this idea all the time about, yeah, how that will happen if we just do all the right tools and techniques. And, and guess what, folks? Sorry to tell you this. Particularly if you're, you know, really want to achieve highly in your life in that physical world, these things don't work. They just don't work. And if they do, it's so temporary. You have to keep turning up and doing them again every day. And it's just exhausting. It's absolutely exhausting. And the reason why is because it's founded on such a huge misunderstanding about where you know that where the desire to do things or where doing things where action really comes from um and, and i think it's 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 well there's a massive industry around you know motivation coaches and things like that where people are encouraging us to do all these things to try and create this thing called motivation so Here's what I've seen about this for myself in a massive way. First of all, um, there's this cycle that I, I might have explained before and probably talked about in another video, but this cycle where there is a calling, let's call it that. There's this sense of something authentically you that you really want to share or you want to talk about um, or you want to do, well, you just want to say, to a loved one you know being authentic doesn't have to be about business it doesn't have to be about work it can just be do you know what i really need to say this and that comes with a good feeling you know it comes with a sense of yeah you know what i'm ready to move forward with this it, it makes sense it really makes sense it comes with a sense of logic i think as well that when you kind of think about saying it you can see that it just it just makes sense it makes sense so and and i guess we all know that like we've all experienced that yes it feels like a big yes like yes now the trouble is that very quickly after we've had that massive yes what we then have is <laughs> our mind and our conditioning and all of our past experiences all that rubbish comes in um unconsciously in the main i'd say i would not say that i had a really conscious um sense of what the thinking might be and that was holding me back just it just didn't make sense to do it just just something it doesn't really matter too far um 
And then, so then, that brings about, what that causes in the body is some kind of feeling of discomfort. Now, that might feel like fear and anxiety for you. For me, it tended to feel like, um, just like a really heavy, you know, a heavy feeling in the chest, a feeling of discomfort, just a feeling of um, sort of being held back, really, and stuck in some way. And then we don't do the thing, you know, because we're waiting to feel motivated. In the moment when we have the idea, there is this initial energy, isn't there? It feels like there's some energy behind it. There's a sense of, yeah, come on, let's do it. But that doesn't seem to sustain. Now, what I used to then do was procrastinate, if I'm honest. Like, I would then just distract myself. I mean, how many times can you open your email account in one hour? Turns out many. <laughs> that was my thing. Probably a bit of social media scrolling in the past, but I don't really do much to do with social media. Might watch some YouTube videos. <laughs> Yay for YouTube videos. Um, or whatever. And I would then just lose the the kind of sense of this thing that I really wanted to do but it would just fall away and eventually some of these things did come alive in the world of form because you know eventually I kind of probably gave myself a right royal kick up the backside and got on with it <laughs> but um, I, I suspect then it was just seeing uh, that I didn't have to feel a certain way to do things and that's really what I'm pointing to in this video because over the last few years while I've been exploring this understanding about how we work, exploring this inside out understanding, I've grown to see more and more that I don't have to feel a certain way to do things. And that's profound because it means now that I just tend to be a little bit more aware of those feelings of tension, of that procrastination, I tend to just pause a little bit more and this is something I really encourage you to consider is you probably know where you procrastinate like what do you go do um, I had one client who used to make a lot of um, soup and stews I had a freezer full of soup, soup and stews and he would always be doing that rather than anything to do with his business which was quite funny um, um, but you know it, it could be eating it could be scrolling, it could be, you know, faffing around with some little menial task. I hope you can still hear me through the wind. It's very windy today. We're just hiding in this corner for a minute while this massive gale <laughs> goes past. Um, no, I'm just going to keep moving, actually. Um, so, yeah, so there'll be some, you know, there'll be a thing. So, what I'm starting to notice now is that when ordinarily I would have carried on, you know, faffing with the thing or whatever, I know it's my, just an inclination to pause, to stop, to take a breath probably, and then, you know, just wait, to, you know, feel the feeling in my body, that's so key all the time, is just experiencing the um, feelings in our body, <laughs> just walking along the street with someone having a chat, um, to just feel it, to feel it, to sit with it, to experience the feeling, because that feeling is just letting you know that you're thinking not helpful thoughts about that thing you're about to do literally doesn't mean anything about the thing at all so and, and all of our thoughts and feelings of course are just generated by our past experience so do we really want to be dictated to by you know some grumpy teacher or <laughs> upset parent who said something to us in the past that um you know, was a judgment of us, was, you know, not helpful in some kind of way. Maybe not. And, and that's what those feelings are telling you. They're just telling you that you, you're being dictated to by that. Maybe we don't want that. You know, I know I don't, definitely. So here's a little phrase I often say to my clients. I say, your thoughts and feelings do not know what you are capable of. And in this moment, you have a much greater capacity um, to do things than you could ever imagine um, and that you are infinite you know this is what I want you to know you're not thoughts and you're not emotions can't be stopped by those things really until unless you believe you can 
And that's what I'm pointing to. I want you to see, I want you to believe that you can't be stopped by your feelings and you can't be stopped by thoughts because that's truly life-changing. So I hope that's helpful. I really hope that you've heard all of that despite <laughs> autumn properly arriving. I feel like I just need to do a little turn. You can see already, look, there it is. Autumn is coming. There's leaves on the ground. There's definitely some more orange and uh, yellow in the trees now. So that's that for summer, I think. <laughs> Just about. Although you never know. We could have a little bit of a return to uh, sun in September. You never know. And even not in October. But anyway, <laughs> we went back to the weather, didn't we? I just love the way we've come full circle on this, uh, this walk today and, and this little chat. Yeah, I hope you find it helpful. Um, yeah, take care. Lots of love. I hope... Um, I hope you uh, have a productive day. Take care.